Oh dear God. tap because I got distracted and I put the hose into the rear water tank to fill it up and then I sat down and had my lunch and forgot I left it running and then I remembered halfway through and basically the water was belting out the back uh, we got a little bit of leakage in there but to be honest nothing much but we're trying to reduce the water of level in the tank down below the filler cap so we're we're just running the water to clean the tank out we're, the water has to go overboard probably a I don't know a good 30 or 40 litres worth Let me at least film you in your dishevelled state. Oh, whatever. Well, I don't know if she blogged my backside. She probably did know in here. But I've been using that high-tech thing known as the sponge. Uh, what, instead of a, a really fancy dancy... Um... Cleverly designed pump that fits through multiple doobas. Yeah, I've used the sponge. Um, this is the water that got past the uh, filler cap. Um, it's not much. It took about under a minute to get this out. So, um, yeah, all we've got to do now is check in the build just to make sure that nothing came out of any overflows at the back and maybe is working its way down through the engine space. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Well, I know it's not perfect, but because um, uh, obviously uh, there was some water leakage, but uh, I actually made um, this uh, O-ring myself um, out of um, some tube I could buy. So although it's not perfect, I'm quite glad to see that my O-ring, um, which like I say, I just made out of um, a bit of tubing, has actually stood the test of... It did fairly well. Consider... It did fairly well. I'm happy enough with that. Considering we filled the tank up to a level about half a metre above the tank. Yeah, it, we filled it a half a metre above the tank and um, my O-ring, yes, it didn't uh, completely seal it, but at least it reduce the amount of water that came out so i'm happy enough with that yeah it used to flood out <laughs> it used to flood out with all, all the o-ling but you know now okay it's better there are some things on this boat that we do that other sailors just don't have to face they certainly don't have mad penguins who decide that the washing up but one of the bowls is a coracle well it's a truly horrible day. So um, on Thursday when the video was going out, Beverly and I went out shopping and um, I bought myself a new um, life buoy. I was going to, I did buy some fabric and I was going to uh, fix our old one. But you get to the point and you just think, do you know what, it's going to take too much time to make it myself and do I really want to put my life at risk for that and you know how much you how much is your time worth so I decided definitely buy a new one um, we bought a rudy uh, a rod uh, a new rod a um, stainless steel studded rod a stainless we bought we bought a stainless steel studded rod because we need to uh, sort out those training wheels on the back. But the other thing uh, I bought was um, the AC circuit um, cable. Now I've actually bought um, 25 amp uh, three core cable that will take 25 amps because the boat is rated at 16 amps 
So this is not going to get hot at all. So uh, the chance of this um, catching fire is greatly reduced by the fact that it's a lot higher ampage. It's nearly double the rating. Of it's, it's nearly double the rating. Because the breaker in the boat will trip at 16 amps. Yeah, exactly. So that's going to drop at 16 amps and this is 25 amps. So, um, like I say, the, the chances of this catching, uh, doing an electrical fire is going to be much reduced. So, oh, we will be uh, putting that in in a minute because, like I say, it's a horrible day. So, this is what we're going to be doing. But that means... Oh, yes. That my, my favourite handbag is going to get out. Come out. And in my favourite hang handbag, I will just show you what I have. Oh yes, what are you really girl's best friend? <laughs> An Avo. <laughs> because obviously I'll be doing um, testing and things like that. Because you always make sure that you test everything um, before. So on top of my nifty handbag, I'm also using my wash bag. And inside my wash bag, oh yes. Tools. Tools and wire strippers and things like that. But because this is um, a hefty duty low wash bag, it's uh, quite good value for a tool bag. Oh. Yeah, far more important than this electrical guff. <laughs> oh yes, we really love the smell of fiberglass in the morning. times when um, I think of uh, for patents I think the jammy devil you know they, they, they managed to get a patent on this but there are other times where I think you know what that guy whoever or girl whoever invited in invented cable ties they need some money because they're brilliant and for a go-to um, um, item on your boat you definitely need them <laughs> What if it was invented by Megacorp? <laughs> I don't know who it is, but it's just all I'm saying is this is a good invention. Well, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Go. Yeah. Well, my cable ties um, have um, just made me, allowed me to loosely um, put my uh, first cable in. But now. For another super duper use of cable ties, um, this is a really long cable tie that we had uh, left on the boat by the previous owners. We've shown it you before, but we use this piece of plastic for running um, as a mousing wire for when we're trying to get into awkward places. It's much easier to um, use this uh, than a bit of cable which just goes all over the place. This is much easier to deal with. I can't even slob without having the car. <laughs> no, you cannot slob and lie down on the job. Ah, uh, go away. I know. I'll, I'll, bl I'll blind you with my defensive camera. There we go. Oh, days. So, three months, six days and four hours later. We have not taken that long. Feels but, like it. Well, <laughs> but we've um, all we've managed to do today is... Put the cables run in. We haven't actually terminated any of the wires but we've at least got the cable run in and um, we'll have to uh, terminate the wires tomorrow so uh, it's just sort of like <sighs> admittedly we didn't start until sort of like after lunch but you know it's a couple of hours just to put in a cable run. Yeah we've got to sort that out. So is it once more onto the breach, dear friend? More or less. It's noisy out there. There's been a, a few crunchy sort of noises. We didn't really like the sound of, so we're just going to go check. It's probably nothing. But uh, You're a worrywart, aren't you, Bev? Oh, why wait until it's a problem? Yeah, there we go. That's me red. Well, apart from the boots. Got to put boots on.
can't see anything at the moment, Bev. Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> the yellow. Oh. Ah. It's a bit fresh. <laughs> Is it a bit fresh? So, uh, anything uh, to report? Yes, it nearly, the wind nearly blew my Prudence hat off my head and I wouldn't be surprised at the byline part of it because it is like a rod, it is straight and I'm glad I've got a preventer on with it as well, a safety line because even the safety line is getting pulled tight, it is bonkers out there The nice thing about this particular gear is that I can just whip it off in a few seconds <laughs> Come on. And it's back to where I left off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these. I think I'll keep it hanging up though for the night. Yeah, just in case you need to go out again. Yeah. Well, this is our old Dan boy. No, it's not. Is it not? That's our Dan boy. Oh, sorry. This is our la old life boy. Oh, these. Oops. Try not to drop it in the water. We don't want, it sink don't want it to sink into the bottom. I should have. I should have. Uh, there. I should have undone it first. <laughs> but uh, all here, the stitching is just coming undone and um, this is why it just needs replacing um, so that's what we're going to do but at least the fabric's all... also badly UV damaged isn't it? oh very badly de de UV damaged you can really see it here but also I'm going to have to um, remove this because that elastic is just it's gone beyond so um, but at least that's only a little screwdriver so I'll sort that out and I see our side panels looking a bit battered from the storm. Uh, yeah, well, the stretches and stuff and things, so. Oh! Ooh. Look at the, look at the nice new one. <laughs> oh, this. Ooh, shiny new one. Hey. Do you get this yoke? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You will be. <laughs> well, one thing I never noticed about this bracket is that underneath um, I've actually got a clip and that clip is for a light. Um, so um, we've got a light downstairs that um, needs fixing. Ne needs fixing. So um, we'll have a look to see whether that actually works. Needs really severe fixing. <laughs> uh, if that will actually hold it, because I might have to rebend this. Because quite frankly, <laughs> if Bev was going on about uh, my my thing being straight, my um, unit being straight, this is definitely not straight. But look. Oh, we've got a little spider! It is. I will have to admit, it's not looking good for the spider. Well, it's the spider and all its eggs, because that's actually a little um, egg. Um... It's not going to be good for the spider. <laughs> no, unfortunately not, but I love them! But never mind. Um, one of the things we did is there's um, a couple of little captive nuts inside the bracket. So all we've done is put a bit of tape over it, just so that they don't come out. And uh, my bungee cord is too big, but luckily um, a little bit of uh, a drill and that'll be that sorted. So what startling discovery have you just made? Uh, there was obviously a lot of water in the, in the Dan Boy, because I've got water over my knees, but it's not a big deal, it's now in there. In other words, there's that much water in it, it might have sank. <laughs> So I think there's enough polystyrene in there, but uh, but yeah, just uh, you know us on salty lass. Nothing goes perfect, but what the heck. Well, uh, loads of salt um, came out of the screw holes, as you can see here. Um, but Beverly has uh, attacked this uh, with some wet and dry, um, and she's also unbent it. 
because now when the when we put this bracket on um, that will go there and this our uh, light which does need fixing will just go in so that is brilliant as far as I'm concerned uh, Beverly's going to um, paint that in a minute um, but in the meantime we've just got the nuts and bolts in some vinegar um, so that they can get rid of all the grunge and stuff like that so that's that but more importantly we've got some coffee on because <laughs> we're going to have our coffee in a minute well, yet another use of the cereal packet. It's been used as a spray shop and this is the final result. There's a few dents along the edge where I had to straighten it out. But other than that, I think this is ready to be redone with its uh, horseshoe boy. So all looking good as far as I'm concerned. Happy days. A tiny little project is done. But as soon as we did it, we realised that we should have buy some salty last letters because it will just look so cool. <laughs> <laughs>